Live from the heart of New York City, it's The Morning Show with Mike and Juliet. Today, how healthy is your heart? For millions, angiograms could mean the difference between life and death. We'll head to the hospital where a doctor takes us through the procedure live. Anyway, let's get to some very good news. This is when our friend Regis Philbin had his bypass surgery yesterday. It went very well, apparently. So our thoughts and prayers are with him for a speedy recovery. Absolutely. But his story got us thinking about heart disease. Um, it raises the issue of how well informed we are about heart health. Yeah, we decided we'd go right to the source here this morning. So we are going to be looking in live on an angiogram being performed this morning at St. Francis Hospital, the Heart Center in Roslyn, Long Island. Dr. Richard Schlafmitz is there, and he is actually, we're gonna be looking at him in just a second, ready to go along with his patient, and his patient's name is Alex Let's see if, Jano. Let's yeah, see if we can get him up and here. And I believe there he's they there, are. yeah, we'll okay. see both of you. And Alex is there. Um, doctor, are you with us? Like yeah, hi, how you doing, guys? Hi, Doc, thanks for, thanks for being here today. Um, if you could just sure. explain initially, what is an angiogram? Well, an angiogram is a diagnostic test. It's a tool to help us assess the presence of heart disease. When you hear of people needing angioplasty or stents or bypass surgery, in order to assess that situation, you need to do a diagnostic test called an angiogram. An angiogram takes approximately five minutes. Alex, our patient today, walked into the hospital and will have a test which takes approximately five to 10 minutes. We're gonna be looking at how the heart pumps, we're going to be looking at his three main coronary arteries and assessing his valve function. With this information, we're going to be able to assess exactly what treatment is right for him. It may be medication, it may be an angioplasty, it might be bypass surgery. So, Doctor, the angiogram Alex, is really the best yeah. way for a, a, a patient to know if he needs a, a, bi a bypass? Well, it's, if a person needs a bypass, you need to have an angiogram prior to the bypass. Gotcha. You can't Has do bypass surgery without this. Um, is there a it's certain not the age? First test that I'm That's sorry it. to interrupt you, doctor. Is there a certain age that, okay. is, that is the typical age that people should go in for angiograms? Should males go in? Should females go in? Well, you, you don't just go in for an angiogram. There has to be a reason why you do an angiogram first. Okay. Your physician may do a non-invasive test like a stress test, or you might have symptoms of pain. Gotcha. Once you get to that point, you get referred for an angiogram. And it could be any age, depending upon your symptoms. So Alex, again, came in for colonoscopy. The EKG said, you better check me out. And, so, and it, it, Alex is awake. I can see his eyes blinking. Uh, is this Alex, normal? Alex, you awake? I'm awake, yes. Yes, it, it's, it's, you, both of us are usually awake throughout the procedure. He, he, Al, by the way, Alex said, I'll do this if I can get a reality series out of it. So <laughs> he's hanging in how, there. Now, how, how's Alex feeling there? I Alex? Feel, I'm feeling great, thank you. You're feeling okay, okay. Alex well, we is going to get money afterwards for that. Yeah, so now, uh, <laughs> doctor, you have already put a, a tube front. How do you say this artery? Is it femoral artery? This. Yeah, right now I'm working in the femoral artery. I put a plastic tube that actually looks like a straw, and once that's in his artery, he won't feel anything else. Where is what that on? Where, where, is it, where is this on his body? It's in the right groin now. area. The groin. Okay. It's in the groin area. No, okay. is it? How? how and um, how how big is it? It's like no, the no. size of a straw. How how painful is this this procedure as it as it continues to go on? And it's not that very it's not very well, long of a procedure. But you, Alex, you can answer that question. How painful is it? I, I felt nothing. I feel fine. But, uh, I just don't like his hands down where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is fantastic. I mean, now, we, the doctor we, uh, promises not to do anything odd here. But okay, now, where are you now, doctor? What are you doing right there? Okay, now, what I have is a long plastic tube called the catheter. And using this x ray tube, I thread the catheter up into his heart. Okay. And if you. Shortly, we'll be injecting some contrast. We can see his heart beating is, on the monitor, doctor. Okay, great. Now, I have this plastic tube, and it's in his heart, and it's preformed, and there are three arteries that give the heart blood flow. They're called coronary arteries, and we'll be looking at them. I'm going to be taking a picture now, and you'll see it up on the TV screen. Okay. And two of the arteries show up, and, and each artery has branches the way a tree would have branches. Gary's doctor. going to show you. Yes. Just, just remind us, what is that red? Is that the contrast that you're, that you're putting in there? Is that what's in that red syri uh, the, the syringe? The red is blood. Okay. Uh, mixed with contrast. I was afraid and so. We're, we're, yeah. Mixed um, with the contrast. And, and that, mixed with the contrast. Okay. It, it, I thought it would show up better on TV. It does. But, um, it, no, we're actually right now we're inject We see it. We're, we're actually taking pictures right now of his coronary arteries. And we're looking at the left anterior descending and circumflex coronary arteries. See that contrast? Going in there? That. Some people call That's it dye. That's the contrast in there. And, 
Yeah, yeah, we don't like to use that word okay, here. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> And the camera is actually taking pictures in different projections. Because the heart is three-dimensional, you have to move the camera in different projections in order to see all three arteries unobstructed. So what we've actually assessed right now, Alex, is that two of your three arteries are perfectly normal. Oh, good. Although his EKG was abnormal, we see that two of his three arteries are normal. And those are called the left anterior descending and circumflex arteries. Okay. I'm taking another angiogram here and you see the dye flowing down. Now I'm going to take this catheter out and we're going to look at the third artery called the right coronary artery. Okay, it doctor. It's a different location. I'll tell you yes. what, while you do, do that third artery, we're going to take a quick break here. We're going to come back to you in a couple okay. minutes, okay, so we can see the results of this third artery, see if it's blocked or what's going on with Alex, okay? We'll check right back with you. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Take care. Carts right outside our studio. Look at that guy. I wonder what he's ordering. What are you ordering, sir? Are you getting <laughs> what are you doing? Full fat? Um, <laughs> Please, no fat, especially today. <laughs> yeah, at the top of the show, we saw Dr. Richard Schlafmitz from St. Francis Hospital uh, here in the New York area. It's the heart center there. And he's, he began a live angiogram, and he uh, has a patient there. His name is Alex Jano. Now, Alex is, I believe, 65 years old. He went in uh, for another routine procedure just last week, and lo and behold, they found something, so the doctor thought it would be uh, pertinent to go and actually do an angiogram. And that's what we're watching live right here. We saw the results of the first two articles. Arteries. And doctor, are you with us? Yeah, hi, how you doing? Good. So we've been, uh, we've been doing some other things here while we let you do your work. The first two arteries, tell us what you found. Well, the first two arteries, the left anterior descending and circumflex arteries, were perfectly normal. Alex had no blockages. And fortunately, the third artery, the right coronary artery, was also normal. What Alex does have, though, is a, a disorder called a mild cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy is a slight weakness in the heart muscle, mm -hmm. and we see that here on the heart pumping, the injection of dye or contrast material in the heart, and his heart function is slightly diminished. This is something that we'll be able to treat with medication, Alex. You don't oh, need angioplasty. Good. You don't need bypass surgery. Good. You'll be able to go home in an hour and go back to normal activities. Just with diet and exercise, you should be fine. You can have the scotch now, Alex. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so, Alex, I mean, uh, you know, I guess that's a little concerning, but it sounds from the doctor's words that you should be okay. Well, the last 48 hours were uh, a little uh, troubling, but it's great to hear the good news that uh, I'll be around for another few years, I presume. Oh, I think quite a few more years, Alex. And you, you've been such a trooper yeah. today, and thank you for doing this, because I think this was very educational for a, a lot pleasure. of people around the country, and it inspires people, I think, who, to go in and get this done if they need it. So thank well, you actually, for that. I was going in for, I was, thank you, but I was going in for a colonoscopy, which was another thing that people should be very aware of and uh, take care of themselves, that's all. Well, maybe that'll be our next procedure here on the morning show. <laughs> oh, no, you, don't want to see, you don't want to see that. <laughs> well, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Alex, thank you very much. We really appreciate it, and best of luck to you. you, you, you Doctor, thank, thank you, you as welcome. well. Thanks for coming in and doing this on short notice. It was, you know, it was in the news. It was something everybody was talking about and asking about, too. I think it's very important, and we appreciate you helping us out. Yeah, really and your good staff job, as well. No thank you. Thanks to the staff of St. Francis. Again, if you want to learn more about St. Francis Hospital, where the, the procedure was just done, it's a heart center there. Or if you want more information about how to keep your family healthy, simply log on to our website at imandjshow.com. We'll link you up to St. Francis.